freedom to choose the jobs you want, when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it, how are you doing? Sorry it's been a while since my last upload. Just uh, been chilling out, enjoying the sun. <laughs> um, we are currently inside that building right there. As you can see, we are fully loaded with pallets. I'll, uh, I'll go and show you actually. Uh, I think it's 480 pallets. I say fully loaded, it's not actually fully loaded. Let me show you. Here we are, so we're inside this building. These are the pallets that we got on, 20 high. Uh, and we only went up to like the second axle on the trailer, so it's not technically fully loaded. But uh, it's enough, it's enough. And uh, same on the other side as well, look. Only they've already started taking some off. Happy days. Yeah, lots of pallets. And the phone won't focus. <laughs> so yeah, over the last couple of weeks or so, we've been doing a lot of uh, sort of event work, primarily going into and back out of Buckingham Palace for uh, the Queen's Jubilee. So that's what we were doing most of recently. Uh, done a little bit for BST as well, which was uh, an event at Hyde Park. Uh, I've been given some paperwork for Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. A uh, load, of, load of information, what to do, where to go, what signs means, the routes that you've got to take in. There's green route, blue route, red route. So one would assume I'm doing some Commonwealth Games uh, work sooner or later. Whether that's today or not, I don't actually know. I uh, don't actually know what we're doing from here. Uh, once we get tipped, we head on out and we go to the next delivery po uh, point, wherever that may be. Okay, just add word on what we're doing next. We've got to go to Porky Docks, get loaded with what I would assume is slate. However, it's not always the case. Sometimes it's uh, um, like steel, but I would imagine it's slate. And that's going to Carlisle. So yeah, we've got a nice, nice long ride today. Lots of driving, which is good. You won't see that though, because there's no, uh, there's no driving, <laughs> there's no driving in this video. I haven't got my cameras with me. I do apologise. Just wanted to get a video out there, so that's why I'm doing this. But yeah, we're going to head to Port Docks from here, and then uh, head on up to Carlisle. Nice little drive today. Lovely. Let's fly away. Let's fly. Let's fly away. Oh, let's put the destination into the sat nav. Uh, we want to go up here. Portbury Docks should be this one there. No, that's even off. That one. <laughs> we get in the end. Portbury Docks. Oh, we can change the height now because we've not got the pallets on. It's one of the things I like about this sat nav. You can change the height quite easily to uh, to suit you. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll probably go that way. Back up the 350 to Chippenham, go across the M4. I can't be bothered to go through Bath. Plus, there's weight limits anyway through Bath. Uh, no, the weight limit. Weight limit's there, isn't it, on that bridge? And you could go, could go the back way. What's the mileage difference? Well, there's only three miles in it. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> For three miles, uh, I'd just rather take the easy route. So, so this particular week, I'm actually only at work for three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because Thursday, Friday, I got off, I'm going to London. Going to finally see Green Day and Fallout Boy, which we booked like three years ago, <laughs> over three years ago. Um, so yes, this week is only going to be three days. I'm obviously on a night out tonight going up to Carlisle. That's, that's an obvious. So what I might do is in this video, you might see the whole three days, um, just what I'm carrying, where I'm going, just see, sort of see what the uh, what the crack is. What do you think? Sounds good. Don't watch it if you don't think it sounds good. <laughs> if you want, if you want to carry on watching it, then uh, then yeah, carry on. But yeah, we're gonna head to Port Docks once they take this. Then we're gonna to Carlisle, and then from Carlisle, who knows what we're gonna be doing? But we will find out. Right, we are here. Just waiting to be loaded. 
Uh, got the paper up. Just trying to get out of the wind. It's a bit windy here. Turns out we're going to Juicins in Carlisle. And according to the paperwork, we've only got 10 pallets. Only 10. Uh, unless they're like super sized, it's going to be a tiny, tiny load. But we normally take this sort of stuff. But yeah, five of them down either side. It's not going to be uh, not going to be much of a load at all, but we'll see. We will see. Okay, so one thing's for sure, it's definitely going to be delivered today. If we left them now, we'll be there for quarter to four. Plus we've got to get loaded. Plus we need to have brakes on the way up because it's uh, well over five and a half hours drive. Um, so, yeah. It's just awkward trying to work out because we're on two hours 45 now, which means we'll have about an hour, 45 minutes. And if we had, an, if we had, if we had a break in an hour and 45 minutes time, it would still mean that we're nearly four and a half hours away, so we could run out of time and need another break on the way up. So, it's one of those things now. Do I have a half an hour break now and hope I can get... Oh no, if I have a half an hour break now, then I'm going to have to stop for another 45 minutes later. Or if I don't have half an hour break now, but have a half an hour break later, I might have to stop anyway. So either way, I might have to stop twice. But... Yeah, there's no point getting a break in now. We need to get as far as we can, then have a break. And then hopefully we can get up there with the remaining time. Does that make sense? <laughs> That's the sort of stuff we've got to work out. Okay, we are fully loaded. <laughs> I say fully loaded. Yeah, it is just the 10 pallets, so five either side. Very light load on the way up. Uh, some people might say, why not put it in the middle, weight distribution. To that I say, if it was a multi-drop, and uh, it was a full load like it normally would be, then the back end would be coming off anyway, so that'd be right like that. That'd be good. So yeah, we'll just go grab our paperwork and then uh, we can make our way up. Probably gonna stop at Penrith Truck Stop or Carlisle, one of them. Right, that's our gate pass to get out. There's the truck. Let's get on in, focus. Let's get on in the truck and uh, head out. 10 pallets to Carlisle. Carl Carlisle, that's it. Okie dokie, we have stopped, as you can see at the services. We are having a cheeky 30 minute break. Oh, a good stretch. Yeah, so we're now on, well, I think we're on like nearly four and a half, just under, literally. We're just waiting for it to load up. There we go, it's loaded up now. There we go, we stopped here on four hours and 26. We already had a 15 minute break, so we just need to have a 30 minute break, which will be finished in another 14 minutes and then um once that break is over we're gonna crack on up to uh i think we're gonna stop at penrith truck stop i think which should be about 40 minutes away maybe 50 minutes away in the morning um but by the time we get the break in and we get to penrith we're looking at about 20 to 5 i think so that'd be good timing because it'll be before the rush hour traffic so happy days so yeah we're a good three and a half hours. That's the time we'd get there if we left now, but we've got to have another 14 minutes. So it's going to be well after half past four. And uh, yeah, this is the route we've got to take. So all the way up the M6, look. All the way up. All the way up. <laughs> then we're going to stop there. Penrith, truck stop. That's the aim anyway. And then in the morning, we nip up to Carlisle to do the delivery in Juicens, which is located just here on, uh, on Junction Street. That's the plan. That's the plan. Still pretty mad that it's only 10 pallets, mind you. Don't know why, but hmm, no one. <sighs> right, let's finish the rest of my break and we can crack on. Right, we are at Penrith. Just gonna turn the engine off. Because there's a, a truck next door to us with the uh, curtains drawn. So, be kind and courteous. So yeah, I've never been here before. You need to go into the shop and uh, and pay. It's on Snap, I believe. Dying for a wee as well. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I'm just gonna quickly do some paperwork and then we're gonna crack on inside. Probably get some tweet as well. Yeah, we're just checking the load, make sure it's all secure still. It is, hasn't budged a bit. Done them up. So, crisscrossed, one way on one side, one way on the other side. It's all good. All right, let's go use the uh, facilities. Get something to eat.
Obviously, this is the part of the video where we talk about the essential new trucker's handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The essential new trucker's handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Good morning, everyone. We are currently in Carlisle now, in Jusons. We're just being uh, just being tipped. They don't open up till seven thirty, and it's actually I'm going to turn my watch on. <laughs> it's, it's before seven thirty, and they're tipping me already. So extremely grateful. Very good. However, I do have to wear a hard hat to undo my straps. It's a bit weird, but don't worry. What do you think? I'm happy to wear it if they're going to get me tipped. <laughs> so yeah. Three more pallets left to come off. I think to get out of here, we've got to reverse back and drive around there. I think. Let's soon find out. I used to deliver these bags when I was working for day aggregates. Happy days. Anyway, let's get these last three off. Let me crack on. Don't know what we're doing next, mind. Right, we've got our instructions for what we're doing next. We just pulled up outside. Parked up, got a text message. We've now got to make our way down to Manchester. We've got to go to a place called Park Life Festival. Uh, picking up some uh, event equipment. Don't know what exactly. So that's what we're going to do now. It is a two and a half hour drive down there. The problem I got is I don't actually know what entrance I need. I got I do have a site contact, so I'll call them on a little bit closer. But it looks like it's in this area, in Heaton Park. I've had a quick look online. There's an entrance up here. There's an entrance down here for the public. Where the, where we go, I don't know. But we'll head that way. It looks like I can go up there if I needed to. And then I could always maybe join back up, go around here and come off this way and go down here. I don't know. We'll sort something out. I'll give them a call when I'm a little bit closer and find out. But for now, let's just crack on. Two and a half hour drive. Let's get crack a lack. And we're here. We are in the park life festival holding area for the trucks well, i say holding area it's the actual area where we're getting loaded uh colleague is just gone we're next uh there's a lot of stuff here that needs to go i don't think i'm taking toilets uh my colleague was getting loaded with concrete blocks i think they're all gone now and i don't think i'm taking these either we, we might be but i don't think we are we've been told we're taking stillages and nothing here looks like stillages, so I'm really not sure. <laughs> uh, for anybody who doesn't know, they're the trucks that lay the tracks. These tracks that allow you uh, to, to, to drive without being stuck on the grass. It's all down to these trucks. Every festival they're at, obviously. So yeah, we are waiting to be loaded. Uh, when they do start loading us, I'll, uh, I'll jump out and I'll start getting some footage. Until then, I'm on break. Uh, just relaxing uh, and if we were to leave now it'd take us three and a half hours to get back down so we should be back there for two o'clock probably gonna be here for another hour I would imagine so we're looking at three o'clock back in quickly maybe and then maybe another hour to tip so maybe four o'clock but we'll see we will see right we uh, we're outside they have put one thing on so far so I think it's gonna be a full load of them but I think they're gonna put something else on the top as well I'm not sure and then double strap it i got a funny feeling it might be one of those cages on the top and then just put two straps over the cage either side and secure the whole thing bottom ones won't come out because the next row is going to stop that from coming out but obviously the back one that i end up putting over there i'll have to strap the bottom layer as well i think i think that's what we're going to do we'll um yeah it's just one of those things where like until it's on the bed and you strap it up uh you see what you like if you like the way you strapped it or not if you don't then you put more straps on don't you so but we'll get there we've been here a while now uh it's nearly 11 o'clock so i can see us being here for another hour still come 12 o'clock and uh yeah it'll be gone five i think before we get tipped later on this afternoon but that's that's by dubai it takes as long as it takes isn't it but yeah Anyway, let's get the rest put on. Slowly getting there. Loads more left to go on, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, that's that machine picking up the uh, 
the flooring, which I spoke about earlier. Nifty bit of kit. And then you get dragon wags as well over there. And you pick them up as well. So we're still on site. I got here at 10 o'clock. It's now nearly 12 o'clock. So I've been here two hours now. And uh, well, those two rows are done up. He hasn't got anything on the other side yet. Plus we've got the back of the trailer. So I st we're gonna be here for another hour, I think, at least. But I really don't care, <laughs> to be honest. I really don't care how long we're here for. Yeah, it's going back to Quickly to get tipped and then uh, probably back to the yard, I would imagine. Might be wrong, might have to go get reloaded somewhere else first, but we'll see. Anyway, the next one's going on, so just going to move out of the way in case it falls off, because you never know. All right, another one on. Let's throw some more straps over, get that strapped up. It's actually a dust tornado. That is actually a dust tornado. <laughs> That's cool. Ah, crap, my window's undone. I do apologise, I got quite excited there. That was that was something, I've been here for so long that, that it was just something different. And uh, I got a little bit excited, I do apologise. Anyway, time is now 12.45. Quarter to one. It's still not loaded yet. Got here at 10 o'clock. So yeah, we're looking at good throughout at least three hours before we leave. Uh, I hate waiting around, actually hate hate waiting around but never mind it is what it is also uh just got a video sent to me from kev t who appears to be in my village <laughs> and uh he's picking up a scrap car and sort of made a joke that he was picking up my tie pass mm -hmm. what a load of rubbish don't touch my tie pass not scrap. Okay, we're done. Whew, strapped up. Nearly half past one now. Let me just show you the load. Alright, so this is the load. A load of scaffolding stuff, pretty much. So, two of the top, two of the top, two of the top. Uh, middle ones, should they slide, forward or backwards, protected by headboard or protected by the back one. And then the one on the back, two of the top, then two over the middle, just in case the middle ones uh, come out, but they, they shouldn't come out anyway, but if they do, they're covered. The bottom ones, if they come out, they're just going to hit the crate slash my corner boards and the crates are also uh, strapped up as well. So I'm happy with that personally, and I've also put a cross on the back to stop it from uh, coming off the back. So yeah, I'm happy with that. That's going to do. We're now going to make our way back to, uh, to Quicklade. Like I said, it's a uh, it's a good three and a half hour drive there, so uh, we're going to get going. There we go, that's the load. Okay, and uh, three and a half hours later, just over, we are here. Ready to be un un uh, unloaded, sorry. We're unstrapped, good to go. Just waiting for more to come off now. They've started. Hopefully we'll be out of here in the next sort of 15 minutes or so. Boom! And we're back. We're at work. It's the next morning. And uh, last night we come back, we got tipped uh, where we were when you last saw me. Then we come back to the yard, got loaded with these bags. I am going to throw another strap over because uh, I want one over there. So we rushed it yesterday. <laughs> got loaded yesterday about seven o'clock. Uh, so we got loaded, got strapped up. I'm going to put another strap over and then we're off to Peckham this morning. Uh, build base in Peckham. Once we tip in Peckham, uh, today we got to go to uh, Chippen, no, we got to go to Tilbury Docks, get loaded with Pavestone, take that to Chip and Camden, then come back to the yard, drop the trailer, and then take the truck to J and B where I used to work, and it's being serviced. So uh, that's the plan for today. But we need to go throw another strap over quickly, so let's do that. Open up this. Grab one of these. Uh, yeah, basically, why another strap just to help hold the bags in, like I said before, the net does most of the job, but... Uh, better safe than sorry, net. Now we grab 
one out of here, one of these. There you go. Move you back up. And then we'll go and uh, go and do this one up, and then we'll uh, crack on then. We've already done all our checks, so we're good to go. Well, I've just put one on if you feel like it needs it. There we go, right. So, yeah, we roll this up and then we're going to crack on. It's about two and a half hours to pack them from here. The time right now is 4.32. We got here about 10 minutes ago. So we're a bit of luck, we do need to stop and get some fuel as well. So we're a bit of luck, we should be there about 7 o'clock this morning in Peckham. It's, it's ironic I'm going to Peckham because tomorrow me and my wife are going to London to see, well we're seeing Green Day on Friday night. But on Thursday we're seeing the only fours and horses play. I'm pretty sure they were in Peckham, wouldn't they? Thing. Anyway, it's kind of ironic that I'm going to pack them the day before and see the play about the trots. <laughs> right, anyway, we are good to go. I'm going to see you in about two and a half hours when we're going to pack them. See you in a bit. Right, ten past five and we are now filling up with some go-go juice. We need some fuel. We've got less than a quarter of a tank, so we need, uh, need fuel for us today, basically. Uh, ETA is going to be after seven o'clock now. It says, it says five past seven. We've got to stop for fuel. Plus, I'm sure we're going to get caught up on traffic, so I don't think we're going to get it in the half seven. Which is a bit of annoying, if I'm honest. I want it to be there before they open, but never mind. There's a chance that when we get there, there'll, uh, there'll be another truck there waiting to get in, which could be awkward, because it doesn't look like there's a lot of room on the roads. So, if I'm honest, that's playing on my mind a little bit. Uh, the, the anticipation of, will there be room for me to park up in Peckham? <laughs> But we'll see when we get there. Right, we're in and we're being tipped. We actually ended up getting here at quarter to eight. The traffic was so bad getting into London this morning. So we didn't get into quarter to eight. But when we got here, there was no one here. No one waiting to come in. All their trucks had gone out. So it actually worked out for the best. Uh, but yeah, now it's eight o'clock. Got my shots off, got my net off. They're now starting to unload me. I don't think we'll be here very long. Maybe 20 minutes stops. Got my stick look to help out. Yeah, baby. Saw that one out as well, look. I was uh, reminded once again that the standard of driving in London is atrocious. Uh, I witnessed a cyclist get knocked off their bike. Basically what happened is, I was going one way, there was a car in front of me indicating to turn right. It couldn't turn right because there was oncoming traffic. So a car stopped, coming the other way, flashed him to let him go right. I say him, it was actually her driving. Uh, so she proceeded to turn right. Then there was a motorcyclist that come down on the inside of the car opposite uh, and that come to some sort of like emergency stop. And then the cyclist behind the motorcyclist didn't see that, just went straight into the back of him and landed up, ended up landing on the floor. Uh, some, some women screamed and in shock that it happened. But uh, yeah, typical cyclist. Not paying attention to the road ahead. Uh, obviously riding too fast, too close, couldn't react in time, not good. Right, we are tip, we're just waiting for paperwork and then we can get on out of here. Time is 20 past 8, we got here at quarter to 8, so that's 35 minutes. Bear in mind, it took me 15 minutes to unstrap a net, unnet, they just done a full load in 20 minutes, 50 bags in 20 minutes. I've just been running around <laughs> trying to open up all the years from. Anyway, let's put our destination in. So here we are. Next up, we want to go. Roads look knackered. Want to go to Tilbury Docks. Calculate route. Pretty sure it's going to avoid Dartford Tunnel. No, it doesn't. No, it does take me through Dartford Tunnel. Lovely. Right, that's what we want. Toll roads, baby. So if all goes to plan, we will be there for about half past nine. We've just got to get out of here yet. Uh, we've got stuff behind us so we can't go forward or backwards. Uh, apparently we've got to spin around in this yard as well, so we've got to, we've got to wait for things to be moved out of the way and then we can get out, hopefully. But yeah, now it's just a waiting game to get out. 
Right, we are now in Tilbury Dock, sitting loaded with paved stone, which is the stuff behind us. Uh, they put some on already, as you can see. None on the other side yet, though, so we can't actually start strapping up yet. As you can imagine, getting out of London was also a nightmare. Loads of ambulances as well. Loads of ambulances trying to get past. Nightmare. Hopefully everyone's all right, but um, yeah, the traffic was diabolical getting out of London. But uh, yeah, let's start strapping up anyway. Right, things are going really well at the moment. We're getting loaded, as you can see. Mostly strapped up. We've got these crates going on now. Uh, all this lot is all strapped up, ready to go. Yeah. Time is uh, only 25 past 10, so we're doing really well for time. I think as long as we're out here for 11, well, as long as we're out here for by 12, we've got plenty of time to get it delivered today. But I think it'll be 11 o'clock we get out of here by. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna have loads, loads of time to get it delivered, not a problem. Uh, gonna have to stop on the way for a break, get something to drink, and uh, yeah, crack on up there. Might be finished four four o'clock, four o'clock ish, something like that. <laughs> now I said I've jinxed it. Right, there we go. We're loaded. Happy days. Right, so yeah, we're loaded. That's the gate pass. That's the paperwork. That's the more paperwork. Just uh, do a little bit of organizing. Right, it's built some air up. We lost some air, because it's so heavy. Turn the engine on, the mid-lift axle drops. Gotta build that air back up. Right. Line is off. Happy days. Right, so put the destination into the sat nav. It's gonna take us around M25 anti-clockwise to the M40, I assume. Yeah, lots of traffic as you can see. So we're gonna have traffic on route. It's a three-hour drive. Uh, get there about 20 to two, but we do need to have a break. So, uh, yeah, we'll just get there as soon as possible, really. No rush, as long as we're there by four. Got plenty of time. We've got two hours to spare, so... Happy days. I will see you when we are there. Right, we've just got here. Just, uh, just taking a good three and a half hours of driving time to get here, but we are here. There's another lorry here as well, uh, waiting to be tipped. Uh, but we've got to get all these straps off. So, uh, yeah. That's what I'm going to do now, and then I'll uh, see you in a bit. Right, straps are off, we are in, and I am hot. We're sweating. We're sweating. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just too hot. It's too hot. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Let me just show you quickly what we're doing. Here we go. Pallets are coming off. Shout out to, uh, to the driver over there who watches the videos. Appreciate it, mate. But uh, yeah, so we're, we're done. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully it's been something different. Uh, it's like the last three days that I've been doing at work. So yeah, apologies, there's no driving. It's just what I'm doing, where I'm going, what the load looks like. That's basically the job. So but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, do appreciate it. Tomorrow I'm going to see the Only Fools and Horses play at the London Theatre Haymarket, I think it's called, Royal Theatre Haymarket. That's tomorrow, Thursday. And then Friday, I'm gonna go see Green Day, Fallout Boy and uh, Weezer. So yeah, looking forward to it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.